If you're an iPad user and you've been struggling to get WhatsApp working natively without having to scan a code from another device, you're at the right place, as I'm going to show how you can run WhatsApp directly on your iPad using your contact number. No scanning, no secondary phone required. The very obvious method of running WhatsApp on iPad is by visiting the WhatsApp website from your browser, where you are required to scan the code from your mobile and link your iPad from your mobile's WhatsApp settings as shown on the video, but that just mirrors your chats on the iPad. It's not native, and you will still need your phone nearby. Super frustrating, right? There's also second method, which requires you to sideload WhatsApp IPA file by searching Watusi WhatsApp GitHub page is shown. On your Safari browser, just type Watusi GitHub. Tap on the first link, as shown. On the GitHub page. Here they have the WhatsApp and WhatsApp Business IPA file. Let me download both the files for demonstration's purpose. As you can see, this method is only for non-jailbroken devices. Let's tap of these files to start downloading it. Now, there are various ways to sign and sideload the IPA file, like Scarlet App, Feather App, there's Troll Store, then Alt Store, eSign, Side Store, also Sideloadly, and so many more options that I have covered already, which you can find in the playlist named Sideloading Methods. Link will be in description as well. As you can see, I have literally all the different methods of sideloading. In my case, I will sideload the WhatsApp IPA file using Troll Store. If you want to learn how to install Troll Store in your device, you can check the i button here. It's the moment of truth, let's see if we can run WhatsApp in iPad using this method. Well, hard luck, it is asking to scan this code. I assume, even with the WhatsApp Business app, it will show the same exact results. Let's quickly sideload the WhatsApp Business IPA file via Troll Store. If you are still with me, please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And as you can see, it's asking to scan the QR code. Here's where Flexstore comes in, which is a third-party app store, which offers 400 plus apps and games without having three app limit restrictions. Sign and sideload without ever revoking or blacklist, also allowing you to clone and personalize IPA before sideloading and add as many app repositories while receiving an app notifications without any cables, computer, or jailbreak, and also no need to app refresh every seven days. This is the official website, link will be in description. Just tap on this get button, as shown. Tap on the share button and add Flexstore to your iPad's home screen. I have created many in-depth video on how to install and set up Flexstore. You can simply visit the official website of Flexstore, scroll down, and here you can find my videos. Just tap on it, and you will be redirected to the YouTube page. Once Flexstore is successfully installed, just launch the app, and on the search bar, just type WhatsApp Watusi. Just tap on it, and simply tap on Sign App, to start the sideloading process. Next tap on Install, when you get this pop-up. When using Flexstore, you do not even get revoked, or blacklisted. And now, as you can see, the WhatsApp is getting sideloaded. Once the sideloading process is over, it's the moment of truth. So, let's launch the app. Just tap on Agree and Continue. And as you can see, it's not actually asking for scanning any code. Rather, it's asking for inputting the number. Now you can simply input your mobile number, verify it, and run WhatsApp natively and independently in your iPad. So this are the three methods of using WhatsApp in your iPad. Next, if you play Pokemon Go, you should not miss my next videos.